Welcome to the Greatest Tamil Science Channel. I am your host Vishakha and we are in conversation with Dr. C.K. Nanda Gopala. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief Vishakha. Our topic for today is Consciousness. It's, uh, every one of us has heard this word Consciousness. We heard about different Consciousness, the Super Conscious, the Self Conscious, the uh, Subconscious, Collective Consciousness. There's so many words going around. And, um, I don't know how many of us really understand that in a very personal way. What does it mean to me or my consciousness? So today we discuss this topic with Sir and I'd first like to understand really the difference between conscious and consciousness. What I understand is the medical word conscious, to be aware, to be, you know, to be um, responsive. But how does Sir conscious and consciousness really connect? Are they the same thing? I think last time we... Um uh, had a conversation on the concept of sleep mm, and yeah. uh, which is uh, directly related to the consciousness or conscious whatever that you are trying to explain. Mm -hmm. The uh, word uh, consciousness itself is a, it's not an English word, it's a Latin word yeah. conscious from there uh, in Lat Latin it's meaning different. Uh, it's been borrowed in English from 1500 plus. The, the word conscious or consciousness is hardly about 500 years old. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, be, before that, uh, it was not there in the language of English. English is a borrowed language. Most of the word has its own origin. Right. So, uh, yeah, there are, there are two ways in which you can, you can look at conscious conscious part of a living human being. One is, um, you know, as, as, as a physical organism with uh, all kinds of internal organs, the skeletal part of the muscles and bone structure, which, which is up to about 100 trillion cells, you know, every cell has its own consciousness. It's, 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 it's conscious of, it, of its existence. So, as a human being, as a living organism, the conscious part of the human body, where we are not connecting here the brain, the brain is also a part of human body, which is functioning all the time, mm -hmm. is conscious. Okay. Because it is not a subject to the brain alone, when you <clears throat> medically explain this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Every organ is functioning. Uh, every cell is functioning in that. Right. Unless all the heart cell functions, you say, suppose you take a, a kidney, there are two of them, each kidney has a, roughly about a million of nephron cells. Hmm. All those guys are working. Right. So, all these one million guys are working, as a unit it's working, hmm. a single unit. But they are one million guys who are together working on it. Like how, um, um, 10 people together carrying a bureau and going. Mm -hmm. All those 10 people have put their hands on it. Right. You know, trying to share the weight. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So this overall um, functioning of the unit is, you can relate it to conscious. They are all um, aware that aware. they have to work for a, for a, for a, uh, unit to function, overall function of living. So, so conscious is existence, mm. that you are, al you are alive and you are existing, mm -hmm. it's conscious. Yeah. Consciousness may be related to your brain, that is the thought process. Mm -hmm. uh, where your accumulated memory is there, your thought process is there and mm -hmm. you know. Because you, you, are, you, are not, you are not at all aware of your physical conditions. In the sense like that you don't know how your um, internal organs are functioning. Right. You don't know anything. The brain is not aware of all that. Mm -hmm. the, the accumulated memory mm -hmm. 
we have not gone inside and see how our heart is functioning how our lung is functioning how our blood is functioning adella all those things which we don't know which we are not at all aware from the time you are born to the time you die you don't know at all right so um, so what consciousness which we speak about is connected to the cortex the brain where uh, the self come into play there higher self you mean i not higher self the lowest self <laughs> <laughs> i am i am uh, so and so uh, okay. this is my name i am an indian okay. this is my flag this is my language this is my currency mm-hmm. all those accumulated memory this is my study this this uh, this house belongs to me this car belongs to me uh, uh, my, my wife my children my money my bank all those kind of things the id and the ego maybe collective id and ego the self the self hmm. uh, being a person you know you have identified yourself with a demarcation of your name hmm. that you are vishaka like you know hmm. with all your ac- accumulated uh, skills that you have developed right. you know you know you know how to use a computer you know how to drive a car hmm. all those collection of bundle of your memories which is there in the existence of the surface of your cortex hmm. as you get up from the sleep hmm. is consciousness that is the consciousness which is related to the brain the overall conscious is existence mm-hmm. where existence is nothing other than that you are aware of yourself in total mm-hmm. and then you are aware of what's around you so can we uh if you have to define consciousness is it the uh, maybe a state of being completely or supremely aware of everything through your senses your mind can can we call that consciousness i don't know what you mean by supreme a consciousness is a consciousness of existence uh-huh. that's it you are aware of yourself is basic consciousness see the the problem in, in, in even in uh, once upon a time when they started the subject of psychology mm. psychology must be around 170 years old mm. as it stands now they started with a concept called study of soul study of soul study of soul yeah and then the, the, then then there a lot of argument came up that we can't see soul mm. we don't know what is a soul mm. as a substance we cannot visualize it we cannot pinpoint the body and say this is where the soul is sitting mm. other than then they, they move to study of consciousness mm-hmm. then also after a period of time then they were having a lot of uh, arguments saying that conscious means uh, you know they started dividing it unconsciousness is there mainly mm-hmm. pre consciousness is there subconscious something mm-hmm. along that collective stuff. conscious subconscious ah, all that stuff was there so so there there is there is consciousness is not a one if you always see this modern science you know they 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 start dividing things fragmenting things mm. they don't see overall stuff at all so that that concept also gone then uh, uh, wilhelm uh, maximilian wundt came and he started i think he uh, his time period was between 1832 to 1920 mm-hmm. he came and uh, he declared that psychology should be the science of behavior the output of science of behavior is psychology mm. so psyche means uh, a greek word called soul okay actually it started mm. but then it came science of behavior he uh, set up a experimental lab for psychology in the year 18 something and he's a german mm. then further came uh, sigmund freud in 1856 he mm. was born i think he died in 1939 lived for 83 years and then uh, he is the one who was the father of clinical psychology psychology so so consciousness is very well uh, dealt in the field of psychology mm-hmm. of uh, what it is to be conscious uh, person uh, the cortex the uh, cognition the cognitive cognitive factors the cognitive aspects the cognitive dissonance the cognitive conflicts no it it keeps going in a very big way mm-hmm. if you want really understand uh, this uh, what is what is consciousness or conscious or consciousness it's, it's in my book 
in my in, in my understanding or my realization consciousness is only one it is just existence that you are aware that you are existing and living existence and living on the same as as a life mechanism a physical organism of our individual life you are living right you are alive that's being alive Conscious of being alive. No, consciousness is being alive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless, unless you are you are you are alive, you are conscious. If you are not alive, you are not conscious. If when you are sleeping, you are not conscious. Hmm. True. Hmm. If you faint, you are not conscious. No. Because nothing other the, the consciousness of your consciousness and my consciousness are attached to the bundle of memory that we are holding. The, the heart is mm. in the brain. Mm. When you sleep, it is dis, it, it is delinked. Yes. Mm. Because your sensory organs are also shut down. Right. Mm. There is something happening inside. Mm. What is that? Why do you go to sleep? Then there is a word called coma. Suppose in an accident somebody is injured and fallen into coma with an injury mm. or they have given anesthesia and then did perform surgery on him, overdose of anesthesia, they could not bring him back mm. or something he has eaten, some chemical, some medicines and all that overdosage which is shut down his function of the consciousness or whatever you call it, he slipped into coma. There are many reasons for coma. Mm. Coma is what? You are you're still alive. You are still existing. You are you are physically alive, mm. but then the consciousness is not there. Mm. Okay. So there is something dealing there. Mm. After some months, weeks, days, or after some years, also they come back. Mm. How do they come back? Why were they went to coma? What is happening there? There is no explanation. They named it as coma. Coma means you are an unconscious. You are not. You are not. You are not consciously aware of your existence. Your consciousness is shut down. Mm. Now, how do you understand this? Okay. So that the sheer existence is there, mm. but unconsciously, mm. no consciousness is. So, when you are in coma, all your sensory organs are also shut down. Right. So, um, if you see when a person is sleeping, uh, his hands will be closed. Clenched. Yeah. Huh? Your okay. hands will be closed. When sleeping or in coma? When you are in sleeping. When sleeping. Uh, you can see your children sleeping children, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's all be closed. Uh, the person who is in coma, uh, his hands will be closed. Have you noticed that? Now that you mention it, <laughs> <laughs> not before. <laughs> I've seen that. Okay. People who are in coma, the fingers are this. Fingers are Don't like this. Mm. When you are in the womb, mm. you are like this. Yeah. Feet in the fetal position above. Okay. Mm. When you are an infant, also it's closed. It's too difficult to open the hand. Cry open. Uh, Walk okay. new one child. Do you know that? Yes. Go yes. Off, of course. Yeah. There's a lot of science behind that. Mm -hmm. yeah, which we, we are not we will talk about infancy in a, in a, in a separate. Sure, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.